So Craig. Yeah. Oh. You're not Craig. I. He told me I was replacing him just for today. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Hi. It's me, Dylan. I'm sorry. He told me to do this. He's away right now. All right. So we'll I'm just act like everything's normal, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is weird. Don't tell anyone. Okay. I won't. I won't if you won't. Okay. <laughs> Craig. Yes. So you're wondering what we have left? Yeah. Not a lot. Now Easter, we're starting to we're starting to get our act together, almost kind of a little bit, sort of. So we had enough candy. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now we don't have enough. If you want to celebrate Easter, <laughs> you're a little late. <laughs> this is what we have left. <laughs> There's a lamb. Oh, wait, that's not online. Don't get excited. He's little, lonely. Little boss. That's a lonely lamb. Love yes. the alliteration, Dylan. <laughs> okay. We've got some cream crosses, a couple more lambs, the one bunny it says he's standing, but that's really a laying down bunny. Mm -hmm. And we've got some laying down chicks, and we have this piece of thread, and we will throw oh, this in wow. too. If For free? Anybody, yeah. There's only one of them though, so if you have to order online and you want this piece of thread, just say so. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Oh, okay. Okay, it's right there. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> and then we have a carrot. We have a lot of, a lot of one, onesies here. The lambs, we have some lambs with these crazy eyes. Always. Yep. I love them, they're a trademark. They're just, yeah, yeah they're, the people like the crazy stand ones. out, yeah. Looks like the white, the white chocolate items were made kind of towards the end, mm -hmm. which is why we have a lot of those, because. We do all the core things, which is basically milk and dark chocolate. You gotta get those done first. Mm -hmm. So we finally catch up, and then we do the white stuff, and then, hey, guess what we end up having left over? There you white, go. because we did it at the end. <laughs> We've got the running rabbit. This is not online, because we only have six molds of this, and the tail has a tendency to break, so it's not a very shippable item. Now the running rabbit, the milk chocolate. And these items are going to be half price, so you're probably putting this video up tomorrow, Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Is what okay. I was told by the boss, man. Okay, do what he <laughs> says. So by that, by the time this is up, these items will all be half price. Um, got a rabbit on a basket. Not a lot of those. Some of these items will probably be gone by the time this goes up. Oval pour box, and this has chocolates on the inside. Yeah, I've never had one of these, but they look so cool because... Um, well, when the top yeah, part is in it, the little assortments in there, it's so cool. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Now, this is uh, a basket made of just chocolate. We only have five of these left. And this is something we do not ship because I promise you it will bust. <laughs> Hollow things do not ship well. Okay, on the other side, we have a few things. Again, it's, these are kind of more decorative things, so these are not on the website because they don't ship. Once this guy's got a little chick and some jelly beans around that. Yeah, that would all come falling off. Yeah. His paw would come off, his ears would come off. This rabbit here, yep, the ears would break, the paw would break. These are solid. The rabbit pulling a cart, again, the stuff would all fall off, but yeah, it's kind of... See, kinda these are all too. things that I wouldn't even think about, like, because... I come in here, obviously, because I lived around here and stuff, but I think people take it for granted, too, some of the things, because they're like, well, why can't they ship? But there's yeah. little things like ears and tails that just come yeah. falling off. So. I mean, it's sometimes hard enough to get them on the shelf without them busting. This is hollow, so again, that's another thing we just don't ship. Mm -hmm. This one we only have two molds of. Steve's dad got that at an antique show in Florida. Okay, so look at all the bunnies we have on this shelf. Whoa. Oh yeah, <laughs> and there you know there was a time when we had a whole big shelf just they were all full of bunnies and yeah. our new people will always ask, uh, are you gonna sell all this? It's like, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Sell Funny all story. This. Yeah, don't worry, we'll be fine. Okay, so uh, we've got these little bunny gates here. Joe put them up with Velcro. What would we do without Joe? And so we have one solid rabbit left. It is possible when you see this video, it might still be left. If it is, it'll be on the website. And these items will be half price. We've got a hollow medium sitting bunny and a couple of solid ones left. Oh, God. Oh, no, he took a tumble. Pre broken. <laughs> well, grab it with egg in hand. Now, this one is not on the website because we only have four molds of it. So, mm. things that we don't have a lot of molds of, we can't make a lot of them at once. Yeah or twice or three times. Hmm. Um, I did have uh, somebody ordered, let's see, this guy, somebody ordered like 37 of them. 
and we do have 41 molds of it. So, wow. you know, that was like a full batch, but I only put things online that we can actually make a lot of because mm -hmm. every so often somebody will order a lot, what we consider to be a lot. Mm -hmm. Other people might not, but we do. Okay, we've got one little long ear rabbit left. <laughs> And this one is not on the website because the tail breaks. Oh. So breaky things don't go on the website. Those darn tails. Yeah. Now Steve just brought these over from Heyman Street. Just trying to start displaying some oh. of our artifacts. So those are the old extract? Um, yeah. Those are probably, for, I mean you can tell by the font that it's I was gonna pretty say, old. I might want to zoom in and see <laughs> and there's it. Even, there's even some vintage stuff in there. <laughs> wow. He knows so it's cool. in there. Hopefully it's not explosive. Wouldn't that be funny? Well, if you're ever in a bide, you know, you have some excess, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excess, excess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's two potato chip bunnies left. These definitely won't be there by the time. Uh, are those Are those new? I don't know if I ever... No, they're not. Okay. But they've always been in limited supply. But mm -hmm. um, last year, after Easter last year, I bought more of this particular mold because we used to only have 20, so I doubled it so we have 40 of that mold because this is the best mold for cramming cramming stuff in there. Yeah. Because this is the one we use for the potato chip bunny, it's also the one we use for the Oreo bunny. And I think we made at least a hundred of each when they were gone. Wow. Gone. So we'll have to try harder to make more next Hey, maybe I should get another 40, I don't know. Who knows? But this, should, this that, that shape holds, because it, it, it doesn't break, the ears don't break, the tail doesn't break, so it's just a good shippable bunny. So that's that one we make a lot of. We do make it hollow. And we have some left in dark. These are all the solid ones left. There's one dark one. Floppy ear bunny. Classic. Yeah, it's like the cutest one we have, but sorry, doesn't ship, ears break. They even sometimes they break mm -hmm. here in the store. Um, this is another one of those bunnies that uh, Steve or his dad got in the mold at an antique show. We only have two, two of this, two depressions of this bunny, but we got the creepy eyes on there that everybody loves so much. <laughs> We glue a couple of jelly beans on the, you can probably see it better here. Yeah, I was going to A couple of jelly beans there. Oh, okay. That's a nice solid chunk of chocolate. Yeah. I was going to say, I got one of the little tiny rabbits from over yonder, over here. And uh, it took me it took me a day to eat it, just the solid one. I yeah, mean, it's, and like it's tiny. Like this big. Yeah, it's two ounces. Bunny number eight or something. Okay, one of the well, the number eight weighs three ounces. Oh, okay. So that's the equivalent of like three candy bars, so. Really? If no. three one ounce candy Oh, because it's yeah. solid. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I guess. I never so, thought yeah. about it. I mean, there's some people who think nothing of eating that whole thing. But <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to eat three ounces of chocolate yeah. all at once. <laughs> you start at the ears and work your way down. That's how it's done. This one is online still. Okay. And the rooster, again, doesn't ship. It actually has the comb up top will break off and then the tail will break off. So oh, okay. It's, but this is a cute antique mold. This one, large rabbit with tack on back. This one we don't ship because it'll break mm -hmm. like right around here, right down here. It's it's long and lean. It's got lots of opportunities for breaking. And then the cream eggs. Okay, so we normally have, we have eight flavors, but we must have run out of two. Maybe we only have six flavors. I can't remember. You guys have I a lot. I didn't know there was going to be a quiz. <laughs> Sorry. She's a loo. <laughs> So the peanut butter eggs, we made a ton of these. So this is all that's left. It's um, it's a marshmallow center with peanut butter on the outside. Gotcha. So that's all that's left of that. We made quite a lot. We've got coconut eggs, coconut cream. So this is all, that's, everything Everything we have left is out. For the marshmallow, all we have left, these are the dark chocolate ones. That's all we have left. The milk ones are gone. Um, Buttercream. All the milk ones are gone. This is all we have left for the dark. Raspberry, no raspberry and peanut butter. We we started out making really big batches, but then I said, well, maybe we shouldn't go overboard. So that's why we have a lot of the peanut butter and the raspberry left because we did make huge batches of those. But it can be kind of hard to judge. Gotcha. So, uh, but we have milk and dark left on those. Even though we made a ton of the peanut butter, the milk ones are gone. And these hmm. are peanut butter cream, not uh, okay. not straight peanut butter. Like those, the ones up here, are they're just covered in peanut butter. Is it? Yes. Okay. It's just marshmallow covered in peanut butter. Okay. Okay. So uh, we did really quite well on keeping up with uh, some of these fun things like the Nutter Butters and the Polar Bear Patties. That's actually a, a peppermint patty at dark chocolate covered in white chocolate. 
That's... I know. How neat is that? Yeah. The snack clubs. We've turned this into Joe's specialty, the snack clubs. So that's pretzel rod dipped in peanut butter, then chocolate, then potato chips. We've been trying real hard to keep up on those because people love them. There's a lot on there, too. It's not yes, like it's, it's just like lightly coated. That's There's enough to share. <laughs> like, oh, come on. That's the best I joke know. of the I video know. right I there. <laughs> yeah. Got some hot cocoa spoons. Been trying to keep up on those. The animal crackers. This place is a zoo. Been trying to keep up on those. So we, you know, we we really, like I said, we're sort of almost getting our act together. The sort of chocolates were a big deal for Easter, but you know now we're back to our regular maroonlas. Easter is over. Sad. <laughs> no, we're also um, going to start up tomorrow probably. So tomorrow is Wednesday. We're gonna make peanut butter filled ribbon candy because on my I have an app called Back in Stock. People can mm -hmm. click email when available on any item that we're out of, and then they'll get an email when we make it. Hmm. So for the peanut butter filled ribbon candy, we have about 105 requests. So wow, that's probably gonna be sold out once we put it online. Yeah. It's gonna be like here and gone. It's gonna be a little weird too. I mean, well, you started it kind of last year, right? When you moved in. Test, like testing the weather and obviously mm -hmm. with ribbon candy but it's got to be just so cool to not have like a barrier on like what yeah. people want you, you wouldn't know? think that people would want ribbon candy in the the spring yeah. but apparently they do give peanut them butter what they want them. give them what they want peanut butter <laughs> filled and this is the the fruit and friendly flavors of um hard candy we're just about out of this but the next batch we're going to make is going to be the spice flavors because i have a lot of requests for that and we've been catering to our fruit and friendly people and we will be putting a little pack of desiccant in there to keep things from getting sticky. Oh, okay. So that's yeah, because they do sometimes get more yeah, stuck there. Yeah, because there's really no preservatives in there, so it can get a little bit sticky. So that's how we're going to handle that. We're going to be keeping up on the brittle. Um, cashew brittle. This is something we did just to try it out. And, oh, yeah, it's been a good seller. There's only four boxes available. But pretty soon we'll be making more brittle. And then, of course... We'll chocolate cover it too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we're really lucky, we'll make the brittle and Max will chocolate cover it right away. So it's just like kind of seamless. Yeah. So Absolutely. it's been that popular, huh? I oh, saw, yeah. I mean, I saw the video that Craig had made and I assumed with how many views it'd be pretty popular, but it sounds like you guys are oh, yeah. doing well with cashews, it. Cashews, I mean, I feel like cashews are actually a more popular nut than uh, some other nuts that get more mm -hmm. attention. Like in the, out in the big world, cashews wow. don't get that much attention. Hmm. There's not, I can't really think of a really popular candy bar that's got cashews in it. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, what? She's talking to us. What? This, Who's? It's the bows. It's bows. <gasps> She's talking to us. I'm going to turn her off. Wow, okay. No, <laughs> you're not ready to connect. Be quiet. We're filming. We have no manners. <laughs> and you, rude. Will, and you be quiet. And you, I've had a... I think you still got to I think the sugar. I think you're on a sugar <laughs> high. Did you have any candy? Oh no, you gave it up. I yourself. gave it up for Lent. So this uh, is this is two days after Easter. So I haven't really eaten much candy. She needs a little bit. I of did it. have a cookie though today, and mm. I hadn't had lunch first. <laughs> How could you? I hope my mom doesn't watch this. I'm going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> okay, so we we've done well in keeping up with turtles, okay. the sea salt caramels. We just made a bunch of those, but that's all that's left. Um, and the, these caramels, these were kind of out of stock for quite a while too, but Joe uh, just went cuckoo with his caramel knife and uh, made a whole bunch of those caramels. Okay, so we, and this stuff, this stuff we often fall all, all apart on, these um, canister items. So we've really, like I said, we, we're practically organized almost. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so we have a few bare spots here and there. Yeah. Now, getting over here to the nut clusters again, we're doing not too shabby here. Our zoo is kind of empty. <gasps> it's like the animals ran away. No horses, no pigs, no frogs, ducks, 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 ducks no goose. No. <laughs> Come on. It's like it's like they knew Easter was coming. Yeah, they hopped away. Yeah, they had to get out of here. Yeah, we got to get out of this place <laughs> if it's the last thing we ever do. Okay. And the nut, the nut clusters, they're not doing too badly, so yeah. I will say we're getting there. Yeah. Now we can start some of our special projects, some fun things. <gasps> we want Wait, to do... Um, like what? Well, I ordered a box, a little box for chocolates, and it says Tropical Treasures. So we're going to do creams with tropical themes like we're gonna we'll do coconut lime pineapple mango so that'll, that'll be a new one and then we'll do coconut clusters just tropical ish things we'll probably should throw in a rum raisin that's tropical right yeah 
but it'll, it'll hold like it'll be a five ounce box it'll hold like 11 pieces but just well, that's cool something fun for summer tropical treasures and we're gonna do we're gonna call it peanut butter and jelly ribbon candy it's going <gasps> to be you heard it here first <laughs> no they've heard it before oh yeah i talked right. about it another yeah. time but you might have heard it here first i don't know do you watch no it? i did do you watch these videos? listen <laughs> i do i watch all of them but no, i just didn't know because we do have i mean well hercules has a lot of new subscribers too yeah. even though you know it seems like things have kind of slowed down but everyone's it's super popular right now well so. peanut butter and jelly yeah. ribbon candy so what that's going to be is the ribbon candy will be uh, like we'll do grape strawberry and maybe blueberry and then it'll be peanut butter filled so that's your peanut butter and jelly nice. and we'll do three flavors and it'll so it'll be the small bag will be one piece of each we'll eat, that'll be a half pound bag and then the, the large bag will be two pieces of each but mm. peanut butter and jelly ribbon candy how fun is that I mean, that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. Yes. Yeah. But first this week, we have to fulfill our people that just want regular peanut butter filled ribbon candy. So that's what we're going to do this week. Maybe next week we'll do the peanut butter filled. Uh, maybe we won't. And we just finished, we just filled in our kitties and our teddy bears. We just did these today and yesterday. We're getting there. And we just got these all filled back in. And they're going to look at these and go, hey, how come there's no mooses online? Is it moose or meese? Moose? It's meese, right? Meese? Okay. How come there's no meese online? Because the ears yeah. break. Oh, no. Everything it breaks. Yeah, look at these cute music notes. Oh, those won't break, will they? Yes, they will. Come on, get it together. <laughs> what did you say? You just need to travel here to get the Exactly. The secret unlocked. Said it from Sam. Sam knows. <laughs> Okay, chips. We're still we're still lagging a little bit on chips, and Steve is actually Steve's making chips today because Brad is off for the summer. Mm. Although he has threatened to maybe come in and dip a chip here and there. Mm. We'll see what happens. You know. But w you want to go see Steve Slumming in there? Let's go okay. for it. Okay. <laughs> you know, he's. <laughs> I think he's all willing. I heard he had a few days off after Easter. Yes, he had I heard two him. in a row. Whoa. Yeah, I know. We're going to have yeah. to get him back in here working yeah, hard. Back in the saddle. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, peanut butter whoa. crossing. It's good. <laughs> what are you working on there? Potato chips. You've had enough of me, right? I guess. Okay. See ya. You know where to find me. We'll see you later. Okay, cha ja, ja. <laughs> Just working on more potato chips? Yep, we can never have enough. Never. Nope. <laughs> We make them one day and they're all gone. Yeah, it always seems like it. I was just telling Terry that I tried uh, potato chip bark for the first time. Really? For Easter. Yeah, because I'd always get the chips instead of the bark. Yeah. And I didn't know that I actually, I enjoy the bark more than I like the chips now. Oh, yeah. Because it's like a chocolate bar with a little added salt yeah, and crunch to it, you know? So. Yeah. Your mom is amazing. Yeah. Cool. All the chocolate. You just been making these all day? Yeah, all day. All day. I know we gotta fill those shelves back up, right? Joe's over there putting peanut butter on them. Slaving away. Joe, you just been the peanut butter guy today? Let's see him. I mean, this is as fast as Steve's making them. Yeah, this is just artwork right here. What's that? I said it's just artwork right here. You go, you go to school for this? For yeah, the, yeah. I went to school for it, you know, to help hone it, but really, you have to be born with It's it. great technique. Yeah, it's all on the wrist. <laughs> all right. Let's see what, let's see what, we're going to go see what Max is up to. He's trying to hide away from the camera. But it's all about the balance, so. Well, well, well. Yeah, I'm coming in. I'm coming in on this conversation. <laughs> what are you up to, Max? Just making some more caramels. Just like the chips, we cannot make enough of this. So I got like 12 more trays in the fridge. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, these always look the coolest too. They look really simple, but they look like they also taste so and good. I mean, candy and salt. Right. Who knew that that combo would ever work? Yeah, right? Just these little bit of candy. You guys took a big gamble with that, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty scary. So, Kara, I was seeing the process of the uh, the chips back there. Yeah, being made. And they're already being put back on the shelves. Pretty close. Yeah. 
It's just crazy. Cause, um, I mean, they were my favorite, but I don't I eat them anymore. They but, do uh, smell amazing. Yeah. Waft it to the camera okay. so that people can smell. Wow. Here we go. You guys get that? You guys get that? The big smell? It's Take a big sniff. It's an exclusive right there. Smell a vision. <laughs> Are you going to invent it? It's already invented. We're doing it right now. Wow. Did you put it in my camera? Is it already? Yes. Wow. Um, yep. So have you just been doing potato chips all day? Or? Much, oh, that and shipping. And shipping. Yep. Okay. Not not as much as usual, but now after Easter, it slows down. Unless, unless it doesn't. Unless it never does. Unless it never does. It never stops. Well, that's the funny thing. You guys don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we have no here. idea. <laughs> we don't know what you people are going to do. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I mean, it should slow down, right? It's um, summer. I mean, well, it will be, you know, hotter in like every state. So, if people don't want to pay extra for a cold pack and, you know, yeah. shipping, understandable. You can always wait till it's cooler. Okay. Do one more of these. We were watching Joe uh, dip them, or? Yeah, Joe's just dipping them. You know. He said it's a it's a pretty tough task he was Grueling. saying but but he does it he makes it look easy it's not the easiest not thing any though. average joke can do that no <laughs> oh some of these are really big look at this one whoa what are you gonna name him this is um this is ed yeah. ed. Ed's ed all right ed and this is ed and this is eddie Wow. Are they going to go together or are you just going to separate them? Separating the brothers. Wow. How could you? <laughs> You're so heartless here. 